Hey guys, this is Pooja here. We are here uh, unboxing Amazon Eero. So uh, here is the Amazon Eero Wi-Fi system we have ordered. We'll just start with the contents of the box. So here comes the three tiny sleek Amazon Eeros. And then we have the instructions on how to set it up, how to download its app and what are the steps included. And here is the power cord which will go into this port of the Amazon Eero. And here comes one Ethernet cable which will go into this ethernet port on the Eero. And you can see there are two ethernet ports and one power port. So here I'm, I'm plugging into the power port and this is my ethernet cable. One end is coming from my internet modem and I'm plugged into Amazon Eero with ethernet cable as well. So as you can see, uh, once it has both power and ethernet, it starts uh, flashing. There's a small uh, white LED, it starts flashing in. And the next step would be uh, downloading Amazon Eero app from your app store and proceed with the step. So Pooja just set up the living room Eero. It's ready for use as you can see and then if you go to the app, once that is set up, the success screen that you saw, the next screen is for setting up of, uh, setting up of other devices. And as you can see, we have two more Eros. So let's go upstairs and connect them. Hey folks, so we've set up the other two Eros in the two of our rooms upstairs. It asks you a couple of questions during the setup about the shape and size of your, of your home. Pretty standard. Once you are done with the setup of all the Eros, uh, you can connect your phone with which you were doing the setup to the Eero Wi-Fi mesh system. And then once that is connected, it gives you a fancy QR code with which you can connect the rest of your devices uh, that you want to be on this network. So once your setup is complete and you go to the home screen of your Eero app, you can see the three endpoints, the living room, office, and master bedroom that have the Eero endpoints. If you scroll down, you can see the, the devices that are currently online on the Eero mesh system. So let's give this a test. Let's go to Google Chrome. And this iPhone right here is on the Eero mesh system. The iPad here is on the Wi-Fi, the regular Xfinity Comcast Wi-Fi. Let's kick off the speed test on both these devices. This one, if you turn it on in simultaneously, actually, let me wait for this to complete. So we get 100 Mbps from Comcast and this is close to 90. Mbps download speed, pretty good. And upload looks like it's gonna be 5.9, close to six. Let's do it from the iPad now. This is the Comcast. So it's getting close to 40, I would say. Yep, 39.2 and the upload speed Currently running. All right, so on the Comcast Xfinity, 40 Mbps download speed and 3.8 Mbps upload speed. And with the Eero mesh system on the iPhone, I have 88, close to 90 Mbps download speed and six Mbps upload speed. The results are here right in front of you. All right, the previous test we ran was from living room. That's where the gateway is set up. We got pretty good speeds there. Right now we are on the second level. This is from the far end of where the gateway exists. This is where we have had the most trouble. And this with the iPhone connected to the Comcast Xfinity Wi-Fi, uh, I got like 20 Mbps of download speed. We can test again. Uh, it's doing a little better this time. Let this test complete and then we can switch over the Wi-Fi to the mesh system and see the results. So, 34 Mbps of download speed with Comcast Xfinity Wi-Fi. And I would imagine like six Mbps or close to six Mbps of upload speed with um, with the Comcast Wi-Fi. Let me go to the settings now and then switch over to the mesh system. So it's connected to the Eero mesh right now. Switch back to Chrome. And then let me run the test again. 
Doing a little better. So not quite close to 100 Mbps that we hoped for, but 60 Mbps, which is better than what we had with the Comcast Xfinity and it varies. So give it a try again to see what happens this time. Looks like it's right around there, around the 65 Mbps mark, which is still a whole lot better than what we had before. So a significant improvement and a pretty visible improvement. Set up right from unboxing that Eero uh, to having the internet connected in all the areas of the home, it took hardly 10 minutes. It's a very easy to set up process. Now I'm off to enjoy the high speed internet. See you. Folks, do you know it takes just one second to subscribe to a YouTube channel? So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm waiting.